In recent years, technology has advanced rapidly, and the potential for integrating neuroscience into military technology has become a reality. The Royal Society has published a report on the subject of neuroscience warfare, outlining the potential applications and ethical implications of this technology. In this video, we will discuss the findings of the Royal Society report and explore the possibilities and challenges of neuroscience warfare. The future of war could be very different than what we know today. It might involve the use of neuroscience to manipulate the enemy's thoughts, actions, and even emotions. The Royal Society has published a report on the subject of neuroscience warfare, exploring the possibilities and challenges of this technology. The potential for neuroscience in military technology is enormous. For example, it could be used to control drones or other unmanned vehicles, making them more efficient and effective. Neuroscience could also be used to enhance soldiers' abilities, including their cognitive and physical performance. While the potential benefits of this technology are clear, there are also many ethical concerns. For example, the use of neuroscience could lead to a loss of autonomy and privacy for those affected. There are also concerns about the use of this technology outside of warfare, such as in law enforcement or interrogation. The Royal Society report emphasizes the need for regulations and guidelines for the use of neuroscience in military technology, as well as for public discourse on the topic. As the technology continues to advance, it's important for us to consider the potential implications of neuroscience warfare and to have an open dialogue about its applications.